DevTron makes it incredibly easy to go from application code being committed to automated CI CD pipelines deploying into your environment in just a few short minutes. First, we're going to create an application. We're going to select a project, enter any tags we'd like to have. Then all I've got to do is point to my code, configure my build. I can specify the container registry and repository that I'd like to place the built image on. Now, if I already have a CI process that is building and pushing an image, I can actually pull from that repository and just do the deployment side with DevTron. If I've already got a Docker file, I can just point to it. I can create a Docker file from a template leveraging my language and framework. Or, without a Docker file, I can leverage something like Heroku Build Packs to auto detect and build my image. When I get to my base deployment template, I can choose a different type of deployment. I can do a basic deployment, rollout with some advanced features. I can do just a job, depending on what type of application I have. I can edit anything in this template or paste in my own. I can include application metrics. And if I'm not a Kubernetes expert and don't have experience modifying and building these YAML files, I can click the basic tab and just add in the port my application is listening on and the amount of resources that I need to request. Now we're brought to the workflow section. This is where we can build our CI CD pipelines. I can build from my source code, which is what we'll do. I can deploy from an external service. I can link to another build pipeline. This is what I would select if I was building once and deploying to multiple environments. I just put in the name of my branch. In addition to just a commit based off of a particular branch, I can also use branch regex. I can even um, trigger this build based on a pull request or tag creation. With one click, if I have Trivi or Claire configured, then I can enable vulnerability scanning. And then to add a deployment pipeline, I will just click this plus sign here, pick the environment that I would like to deploy to, have that deployment kick off either in an automatic or a manual fashion, and I can deploy it via Helm or GitOps. Now for my deployment strategy, I can either do the default rolling deployment or I can do a blue-green canary or recreate. I can choose the gear settings here and configure this deployment however I'd like. I can also add in a step for manual approval and anyone having the approver permission set for this application will be able to trigger that approval. Now, right here, I'd also like to mention that we have both a pre and post deployment, as well as on the build pipeline, a pre and post build stage. What you can do here is you can add in custom tasks to extend your CI CD pipeline. So if we wanted to implement something like load testing or code quality and security scanning, um, or maybe after a, de a successful deployment, we want to have the results of that deployment pushed to a JIRA ticket and then close out that ticket. All of these things and more can be done to automate your CI CD process. And that's it. Now we can go to build and deploy, select the most recent commit, and start that build process.